Garrett, this was your final start before opening day. How satisfied are you with the results? Yeah, I mean, uh, pleased. Got through six, got the pitch count right where we needed to be, and um, so physically ready to go for opening day. It looked like early in the game you were working on your changeup. Was that a game plan heading into it, wanted to get a better feel for that pitch? Just haven't um, thrown a ton of strikes with it this spring, so... Um, yeah, just fine tuning. Only eight pitchers threw 200 innings or more last year. You were one of them. How proud are you of being that durable guy who can take the ball every fifth day? I mean, it takes a lot of hard work from really not just me, but everyone else, too. We got to make sure we're pitching efficiently enough to get deep in the game. The training room's got to keep me ready to take the ball every five days. And same with the strength and conditioning coaches. So, um, there's a lot of people that should be proud of it. We always hear pitchers when they're feeling good say, I really like the way the ball is coming out of my hand. How do you feel about the way the ball is coming out of your hand? Yeah, today was really good. Um, I mean, I, I didn't step on anything, so um, just kind of cruising and, and uh, having good life to the ball is a good sign. When you signed with the Yankees, you talked about not only winning a championship, you said multiple championships. How equipped do you think this team is to get to that mountaintop? Well, we got to we, we can't win them both in one year. But um, um, yeah, I mean that's part of the reason why you know I chose the Yankees and I came to the Yankees is because of the track record of putting together a team as an opportunity to compete in a postseason and win a World Series every year. Uh, it's unlike any other franchise um, and pretty much unlike any other franchise in the world for that matter. So we take a lot of pride in that and, um, you know, we're looking forward to push that, that, that first World Series um, since 2009 over the line this year. In a matter of days, you get the ball at Yankee Stadium to pitch on opening day. Can you even describe what that feeling is like? Yeah, it's a balance of emotions. You know, you you want to uh, enjoy the pageantry, and it's it's usually very special for players who have um, not had an opening day. Um, it seems like uh, yeah, everybody. I, I believe there's a I believe there's a book uh, called Time Starts on Opening Day. I think it's Thomas Boswell. I've I've read most of it, um, and it's just like yeah, it's the beginning of every baseball fan and every baseball player's calendar is opening day. Speaking of special, before I let you go, so it's your final spring training start. As you walk off the mound, you make a little detour off to the yeah, stands yeah, yeah. there. And Amy, your wife, and your, your two sons are, are there to watch dad pitch today. Uh, how cool of a moment was that for you? That is, honestly, that's probably one of the coolest, mo one of the top moments of my career. I mean, to be able to, I wasn't, I didn't know he was there. And then he caught my attention. And um, uh, yeah, like never before have I, had to like flip that switch, um, you know, and just kind of go into dad mode right away. Like after, you know, trying to get after the ball for a couple hours. So um, that was really, yeah, that was really special. I look forward to more of those moments.